If you love comics and love horror, here are some books coming out this week you might want to look for at your local comic shop. Remember, this is not a set of reviews, just a list of what you might find when you hit the shops this week in Comics Horror, August 2nd, 2023. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals, click subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for notifications. Let's check out this week in comics horror, August 2nd, 2023. This week, we've got a grab bag of different titles that really have nothing to do with each other, save for the fact that all of them rest firmly in the genre of horror. Scott Snyder produces Dark Spaces, Good Deeds, from creators Che Grayson, Kelsey Ramsey, and IDW Publishing. The third issue is filled with dark mysteries, cover-ups, and conspiracies. Boom Studios is releasing the first issue of Buffy the Last Vampire Slayer, set in the near future as our blonde vamp killer faces off against her fanged foes for the last time. Fans of Disney's Gargoyles cartoon should be on the edge of their perches as the series creator Greg Wiseman and artist George Cambadias bring the stony monsters back in comic book form. Issue 8 comes out this week from Dynamite Entertainment. Scoob and the gang take on the ghosts of Vikings in the latest Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Issue number 123 comes from DC Comics, Derek Friedolfs, and Valerio Chiola. Then Dark Horse, Mike Mignola, Chris Robertson, and artist Mike Norton unleash the wrath of Hellboy and the BPRD in a tale set in 1957 called From Below. And The Walking Dead Deluxe number 68 continues to represent the trials of Rick, Carl, Michonne, and the rest in full bloody color as they look for a new safe haven in a world overrun by zombies. That's from the usual crew of Kirkman and Adlard. This week brings another pair of comics from the current king of comic book horror, James Tinian IV, who had quite a San Diego Comic-Con, winning a ton of awards as best writer in various series. Tinian delivers the second issue of The Oddly Pedestrian Life of Christopher Chaos with his writing partner, Tate Brombao, and artist, Isaac Goodhart, about a young man who seems to be a magnet for paranormal craziness. And then Tinian takes a trip to the dreaming and tells a standalone tale set in the new Sandman Nightmare Country universe called Thessaly. This one's with artist Maria Lovett. Finally, we move into month two of DC's Night Terrors crossover. I can't say I'm loving all of these titles. I can't say I'm loving a lot of these titles. But I'm digging the main storyline, focusing on the team-up between Dead Man, who is inhabiting Batman's unconscious body, and the long-dead yet reanimated corpse of JSA's Sandman, as they investigate who Insomnia, the big bad of this crossover, truly is. This week we have books coming from writers Jeremy Hahn, who writes Black Adam, Ed Brisson, who's writing Ravager, G. Willow Wilson, who's writing Poison Ivy, Matthew Rosenberg, who's taking on the Joker, and Night Terror's coordinator Joshua Williamson writes The Batman Issue. If you're keeping up with this crossover, what are you thinking of it so far? Well, those were 13 lucky horror comics on the shelves this week. Surely there's something there you'll find worth your time and hard-earned money. Let me know which ones look good to you down in the comments. Stuck inside your reality Your doom Oh, your doom Your doom 
Live inside.